Salvation to the light Who seated on the throne And to the earth Who seated on the throne and to the land forevermore? Salvation to the land who seated on the throne
Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. First Samuel chapter 21. Father, as you bring to your word, speak to us, open our eyes, deposit something in our life tonight through your word. Help us to be doers of the word, not just hearers only. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go. Chapter 21 Then David came to Nob to Ahimelech the priest, and Ahimelech came to David trembling and said to him, Why are you alone and no one with you? And David said to Ahimelech the priest, The king has charged me with a matter and said to me, Let no one know anything of the matter about which I send you and with which I have charged you. I have made an appointment with the young men for such and such a place. Now then, what do you have on hand? Give me five loaves of bread, or whatever is here. And the priest answered David, I have no common bread on hand, but there is holy bread, if the young men have kept themselves from women. And David answered the priest, Truly women have been kept from us as always when I go on an expedition. The vessels of the young men are holy even when it is an ordinary journey. How much more today will their vessels be holy? So the priest gave him the holy bread, for there was no bread there but the bread of the presence, which is removed from before the Lord, to be replaced by hot bread on the day it is taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day, detained before the Lord. His name was Doeg the Edomite, the chief of Saul's herdsmen. Then David said to Ahimelech, Then have you not here a spear or a sword at hand? For I have brought neither my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom you struck down in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you will take that, take it, for there is none but that here. And David said, There is none like that. Give it to me. And David rose and fled that day from Saul and went to Achish the king of Gath. And the servants of Achish said to him, is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing to one another of him in dances? Saul has struck down his thousands, and David his ten thousands? Mm. And David took these words to heart and was much afraid of Achish the king of Gath. So he changed his behavior before them and pretended to be insane in their hands and made marks on the doors of the gate and let his spittle run down his beard. Then Achish said to his servants, Behold, you see, the man is mad. Why then have you brought him to me? Do I lack madmen that you have brought this fellow to behave as a madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? <laughs> Imagine. You must say that David is allowed spittle, that spittle saliva, to run, run, his, run around his beard. Prepare to be mad. So that he can, be, he can escape from the hand of his enemy. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus in every situation to be able to be smart in the name of Jesus. David, mm. may God help us in the name of And I pray that Lord we deliver all from every, every craftiness, every enemy being set against our lives, against our destiny in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every time that rise up against us in judgment. 
between the clear, they will not prevail, they will not succeed in their evil plights in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's continue. Second Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. Chapter 10. I, Paul, myself, entreat you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. I, who am humble when face to face with you, but bold toward you when I am away. I beg of you that when I am present, I may not have to show boldness with such confidence as I count on showing against some who suspect us of walking according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Look at what is before your eyes. If anyone is confident that he is Christ's, let him remind himself that just as he is Christ's, so also are we. For even if I boast a little too much of our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for destroying you, I will not be ashamed. I do not want to appear to be frightening you with my letters. For they say, his letters are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech of no account. Let such a person understand that what we say by letter when absent, we do when present. Not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. But we will not boast beyond limits, but will boast only with regard to the area of influence God assigned to us, to reach even to you. For we are not overextending ourselves as though we did not reach you, for we were the first to come all the way to you with the gospel of Christ. We do not boast beyond limit in the labors of others, but our hope is that as your faith increases, our area of influence among you may be greatly enlarged, mm -hmm. so that we may preach the gospel in lands beyond you, without boasting of work already done in another's area of influence. But the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. Amen. He's the one the Lord commends is approved, not the one that commends himself. But we boast in our work, we boast in righteousness, we boast in law, we boast in kindness, but we boast, hallelujah. The fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Remember, when we do good and when we decide to flow in this realm, we bring blessings, we bring stability. We are the one that benefits when we decide to do good. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In this night, the name of the Lord, we're going to go straight down to our confessions. Hallelujah. Let's save your holy name in the name of Jesus. No one like you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. In the name of Jesus. For you are with me, your Lord, and your start to comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You are not my head with oil, my cup of a flow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 59, 1 and 2. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. 
You deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. May the Lord save us from every bloodthirsty man in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. He who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinion, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is shield and the buckle. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the earth of the days, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness. You will not fear the destruction that was at noon day. In the name of Jesus. A thousand may fall at a certain thousand at a right time, which will not come near you. In the name of Jesus. You will only look to eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. The most I will is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague will come near your tents. For he will command his angels concerning you to gather in all your ways. On their hand they will bear you up. Lest you strike your foot against them. You will tread on the lion, the other, the young lion, and the serpent shall trample on that foot. In the name of because you hold fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. In the name of Jesus. So rescue him and honor him. We will love, love, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord oh, Jesus. Lord oh, Jesus. Blessed be the Lord of my rock who trained my hands for war and my finger for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer. Hallelujah. My shield in whom I take refuge, you subdue these people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? A son of man that I take of him. Might like a breath, his day like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Turn the mountains so they smoke. Flat for your Latin and scatter them. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Send out your arrow and rule them. In the name of Jesus, stretch out your hand from all high. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners. Use mouth. The, rescue me and deliver me from the from the many waters, from the hands of the foreigners. Whose mouth speaks lies. Whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma son in here. I will sing a new song to you, O oh Lord, upon a ten string harp. I will play to you, you give it to kings. Who rescued David is someone from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, my son, in the name of the may I rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, may our sons in their youth be like a plant full grown, and not that like a corner that call for such of a palace. In the name of Jesus, may I'm going to food, providing all sorts, all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may our sheep bring four thousand and ten thousand in our field. In the name of Jesus, may and and we, may our cattle be heavy with young, suffering on beside of elder in bearing. In the name of Jesus, may there be no point of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom so blessing fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this night. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Psalm 124, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, and Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on my side, when people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When their anger was kindled against us, then the Lord would have swept us away. My son, the torrent would have gone over us. The river us would have gone to raging waters. There be the Lord who have not given us as a threat to their teeth. They have escaped like a bird from the snare on the father. 
The snake is broken. We have escaped. Because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done in your life. And I said, be your holy name, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And we pray in the name of Jesus. As we go for to rest, may the Lord, in the name of Jesus, these his angels to protect in the name of Joe. Pray that every knee, any wicked altar or any summoning or any power in the name of Jesus. Father, let them fail in their wicked agendas and activities in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, strengthen not so long in the name of Jesus. I pray that every power that comes to challenge us in our dream tonight will bring them under our feet in the name of Jesus. I will decree and declare in the name of Jesus that Daddy, you strengthen us, Lord. You will, you will wake up and able to remember everything that happened in our dream. The power that comes to keep the city to destroy the blood of Jesus against you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because all our enemies, they are under our feet. Thank you, Lord, because you prepare a devil for us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have made our, uh, exalted our horns. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, honor, majesty, be to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, once again. In Jesus' name, we pray. The rest of God will be here again in the morning. For those who came, please join us in the morning time. And the law a perfect order concerns you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name, Lord Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, we give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Father, give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Have a very wonderful night. My guess we will see you again early in the morning for those who can. Enjoy your night in Jesus' name. Shalom. Jesus, I will pray. Amen.